sooner or later, some of the cars on our roads will be involved in accidents. Most of them will be repaired and put back on the road. How safe are you in a car that has been damaged in a crash? What happens if it crashes again? We know that at least some of these cars will withstand a second collision as well as the first. These are the cars that bear the Volvo badge and which have been repaired according to Volvo's repair methods and standards. Volvo leads in the field of safety. We take every opportunity to strengthen this position in everything we do. Repairing a crashed car and monitoring the performance in another crash is a perfect example of this drive for excellence. This Volvo V70 has been prepared for a crash test. We're going to perform a front left-hand side offset collision at 25 miles per hour, a fairly common accident. Most people believe that a vehicle in such an accident can never be repaired successfully. Well, it can be, but the real question is, will the vehicle perform after it's been repaired in line with its original specification. Well, the only way to find out is do it. In the collision, the car deforms in the way it's expected to. The sequence of events is predetermined in the design. The front crumple zone gives way and slows down the collision force, distributing it throughout the entire car body. The crash test dummies are not seriously damaged. The front of the car has been severely deformed. Now the question is, can it be restored to its original condition? During the damage assessment, it is noted that the entire rear half of the car is undamaged, that the front needs to be straightened out, and that parts of the body structure need to be replaced. This also applies to the body panels, the windshield, and a few items of equipment. But the damage is far from irreparable. The damaged parts are removed. The engine is moved out of the way, leaving the engine compartment completely clear. The entire process is explained in Volvo's Vardis technical information system. Because the airbags have been deployed, the dashboard needs to be replaced. At the body alignment bench, the car body is checked at a number of retaining points. Several pulling tools are fitted. Some of these are specially designed for Volvo. The more pulling tools that are used, the more even the pulling, and the better the results will be. Once the body has been straightened as much as possible, the damaged sections are cut away and replaced with new ones. Vardis indicates exactly how to measure and cut, and how the parts should be adapted to the damage. These are fixed and welded into position using exactly the right number of weld points to give the structure the same properties as when the car was new. The windshield is replaced while the engine compartment is empty and the dashboard is out. The engine is ready to be refitted on new engine mountings and a new subframe. All parts and mounting points have been checked. The new body parts are fitted. The fenders and hood are given a final adjustment. 
All the seat belts are replaced because the seat belt pretensioners have deployed. The same applies to the airbags. The fittings are refitted using the original components or replaced with new parts. Finally, the car is linked up to Vardis to reset the diagnostic trouble codes that were registered at the time of the accident. Now the vehicle looks the same way as it did before the first test. But will it perform the same way if we crash it again? Will the crumple zones do their job? Will the airbags deploy at the right rate? Is it possible to get the same collision performance from a repaired vehicle? Soon we will see. At Volvo Car Safety Center, we have the most advanced and sophisticated test center within the automotive industry. As we have fully control of every important crash parameters in a test, we can test the car again after it has been repaired to ensure that the car's safety standard is fulfilled. The second crash test is performed in exactly the same way as the first. After the second collision, the car actually looks just the same as after the first one. The windshield has cracked in the same place. The door can still be opened. The lower end of the A-pillar has come apart, just like in the first collision. The upper side member has deformed, just as expected, with the same crumpling and the weld points have withstood the stress. The lower side member has also deformed, according to Volvo standards. The engine mounting points have given way a little and slowed down the backward movement of the engine. The right side is more or less intact, just like the first time. Inspection of the underside of the car confirms what we really already knew. The car has absorbed the collision impact the same way as it did in the first collision. The test result shows that the important interaction between all the safety features worked as it did when the car was new. This means that the occupants will be giving the car's original protection if an accident will occur again. What we have shown with certainty is by using Volvo original equipment parts and Volvo repair methods, the vehicle is ready to perform again. That knowledge makes all this effort worthwhile. So there we have it. We have added to the quality image of the Volvo brand. This will help Volvo to become the world's most desired and successful premium brand through a premium repair offer. <laughs>